Find him ranks one of my top ten guests of all time because he was completely out of his mind, but completely genuine and sincere about it. And he would talk about, you know, how he would drink Aunt Millie's sauce out of the jar for breakfast and uh, how he wore Depends instead of underwear, not because he had a problem, just because he didn't like washing his underwear. And he would look at you so seriously and tell you why Ajax was better than Clorox to clean the, uh, the tub. So I loved him. It wasn't just the voice. It was the specifics he would get into and the passion you know, that he had for all of it. Very passionate. He would say things like, I, I'm not getting paid for this, as if anybody would pay him to say how wacky he was acting when he used their products. Let's go to 1988, Tiny Tim. Why don't we get Tiny Tim in here? Hey, Gary, bring him in. I think Robin's in the uh, can. Oh, I was saying I thought you were in the can. I know I was. I was. I yeah. heard you. You see, it was that like a menagerie out there. I know. Uh, Jordan and Nicole were just leaving, and Nicole informed me just now that it wasn't as bad as she thought it was. Oh, it was great. <laughs> she has no idea. Oh, she, they're leaving? I thought they are going to yeah, hang around. they decided to go. No. They didn't want to see the other people undress? I guess not. Yeah, no. That Nicole had some body. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, how difficult could it be at 19, Howard? Yeah, well, I know at 19 I date a lot of girls in that body. Like that. Look who's here, Tiny Tim. Tiny God Tim. bless you, Tiny. Sit down. Relax. i got to calm down. <laughs> Tiny, please, don't take your clothes off. <laughs> don't feel obligated. Did you hear that? Naked Jeopardy. Is that something? Oh, uh, she told me something. Uh, what's the name again? Nicole. What's the oh, Jackie. Jackie. Uh, this is uh, Fred, this is fast, fast. and that's Robin. Are we on the air? Yeah, we're on the air. Put oh. on your headphones. Oh, thanks. Nice. Um, what you do to your hair? You made it a new color. <laughs> oh, you made it purple. Well, anything but gray, Mr. Sir. Nice being nice on your show. Say hello, Mr. Jackie and the gentleman here. Mr. Fred. Mr. Fred, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and I will give you these. <laughs> Tiny Tim, Turkey Day Bash, starring Tiny Tim with MTV VJ Kevin Steele, 18 and over. So you're having a big party at the Palladium, and what will happen? You will, uh, or you'll be playing your new record. Uh, I'll be uh, lip syncing, you know, uh -huh. to the track, and you know, I saw Elvis Presley tiptoeing through the tulips. Did you hear about Tiny's new record? No, I didn't know about this. Uh, I saw Elvis Presley tiptoe through the tulips. Oh my goodness! Where is that record? Oh, here it is. I want to say hello to Miss Robin. Hello there, Tiny. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was going to bring you in for Naked Jeopardy, but... Oh, uh, I wish you would have. Oh, really? Oh, really? Tiny, oh. I'm shocked. I thought oh. that you wouldn't have liked it. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, well, I tell you... Uh, well, you want to stay for the bonus uh, round? Uh, oh, uh, I, oh, I wish that happened. I, I met the lovely lady. I, I met her outside. We said hello. Yes, she's beautiful, gem, right? Don't you think? I, I mean, Wasn't she a gem? gem? Oh, a marvelous lady. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I go to these places many times. <laughs> All right, calm down, Tiny. Uh, yes. Uh, just to uh, look at their faces. Really? Uh, uh, what places do you go to? Uh, well, uh, wherever, a lot of times I go to topless places, bottomless. Really, I've done that for years. Tiny, you go to topless and bottomless places? Yeah, well, I'll tell you why I do that. Uh, yes. uh, and this, <laughs> I know. Nothing but pure thoughts. <laughs> yeah. and I, I, sometimes I look for a, a pretty face if, you know, if she wants to get together and chat and go out to dine, and, and, and she has the right type of, you know, personality, yes. then I, it doesn't matter where I find them. Right. You know, it could be on the street or in, in, in a... Or Bottomless like place. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know after a good bottomless show, I like to go eat something. Yeah, you want to check oh. out a personality after yes. that. Oh, I've been going there for years. But Tiny, you know, it's the kind of thing where I picture you walking into a bottomless bar, and a lot of people go, oh, there's Tiny Tim, and there's a lot of excitement. Do you think that some of the, the dancers go out to dinner with you because you're Tiny Tim, because you're famous, and they're looking to take advantage? Probably. I've never really got out with one yet. I, I've been viewing the places from here to Canada. There's one right over the border. Uh, I, I forgot the place, uh, but I, I like to go in there and pay them a few dollars when I have money mm -hmm. uh, just to watch their art. I, I mean, because they're wor working hard for the cash. Yes, they you are. Know, some of them have beautiful faces. I met one girl in, in Winnipeg. That's where it was, in Winnipeg. And she said, gee, why are you giving me so much money? Mm -hmm. I says, well, gee, you look so nice and you're wonderful. She said, well, I've never heard of you. I said, well, one day you may, you know, and yes. and it was marvelous to chat with them. You see that? Tiny, Isn't that uh, incredible? See, I've I never learned, heard such a story. I learned something new about Tiny all the time. <laughs> Every time. Many times I go to topless, bottomless uh, <laughs> places and uh, just check out the broads. and the pretty face. Uh, yes, I, I, I go for that. Yeah. Uh, now, the girl, uh, Nicole, the girl Nicole who took her clothes off, that's someone who would have interested you. Well, yes, I admire these women. They are mighty, uh, mighty daring and, uh,
You like yeah. that? You like an adventurous sort of spirit. Oh, I love a daring woman. Yeah. yeah. And what's uh, doing with your ex-wife? You now divorced? Not yet, but I haven't seen her since June. Miss Jane. Uh, right. Uh, and and, and I, I, you know, don't know where she is, but I've never been more happier. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, I, yeah. I tell you, the house is. It's like a weight lifted off your. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I've been. Oh, it's. I, I've. I'm alone, and I can do what I want. I can, you know. You know, I didn't want to say anything the last time you were here, but when I saw you at my birthday show with her, I felt you were being bossed around a little bit, and I thought that you were taking on a burden there. And I didn't want to say anything at the time because I thought you were happily married. She was awfully involved, you yeah. know, in what you were doing. Right. Well, uh, Mr. Service, Robert, I tell you, that's a great, uh, great, uh, no feeling you have there. And I must. We don't uh, want to be called into the no, trial or anything. No, no, you know? no, yeah, right. no, okay. no I was uh, didn't know she'd be there. Right. Uh, she said she didn't want to go that early in the morning, mm -hmm. and I was just there. The, you know, at your birthday, and uh, Miss Jessica Horn was there. Yes, and she was marvelous. What a charming conversation we had. Yes, and, Imagine all, that. Yes. and all of a sudden, uh, my wife came. <laughs> I was shocked to see her there. <laughs> you know, and I was I shocked to see her. Right. Uh, the only thing I did, which was a little daring, mm -hmm. I did tell uh, Miss Horn where I was staying. No, oh, you did. You know, uh, and, and you have had uh, Miss Horn back to your uh, apartment if she was willing to come. Oh, if she was willing. But she loved to I chat. Was a married man, time. Yes, I, well, I would chat with her, Miss Robinson. Oh, I, I would see. talk to her about whatever her problems were. I see. <laughs> and the point was that uh, I was surprised to hear that you would even bring anybody into your apartment because you like it clean. So well, I, was, well, I was a little shocked that you would even bring, like, Miss Jessica Hahn back to your apartment. I didn't think anyone was allowed in your apartment. Oh, well, we, we, many people come up. We only chat about topics. I see. I had a young lady up the other night. We chatted about, chatted about, sorry, about her uh, meditation. She's going to yoga class. Is that right? And I so just, you do a lot of chatting. Uh, most of the time. No yeah. getting it on. Uh, no, not yet. Because you only get it on if she's You're willing married. to have your baby. Well, uh, right now I am still married, and uh, right. I need a lot of prayer to uh, get through this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, to keep the devil away. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. Well, thank you. I'm sure that uh, some thoughts come to you, and you can sort of alleviate the problems uh, yourself. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I never do those things. You don't do that. I never do those things. Uh, get out of here. Never, oh, never. Uh, I... Now, how do you? Well, Avoid it. Uh, well, I just pray about it. I thank Jesus Christ for his blessings. Yes. And I just pray uh, <laughs> to overcome the devil. Is it bad? Uh, uh, not very bad. Is it really? Do anything with yourself. I'm sometimes oh. wondering. Yes. I'm sometimes wondering if it's better to meet a lady of the night than to fool around with yourself. Really? Really? Oh, I, now, I don't understand the, that, Tony. Oh. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I've seen the. I've seen <laughs> the every night this week. All the time. Yeah, exactly, because I can't get oh. to sleep any other way. I have to get to bed early. I, have a, I pray to Jesus. He said, you've got a medical problem. <laughs> So you have to do those. It's a little different than your situation. You can wait to go to bed 2, 3 in the morning. i got to be asleep by 8 o'clock. Well, that's the that. Well, uh, no, it's something that is so naughty. Sure, sure I've been tempted. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm not saying to that, but I, praise God, I've stopped about a year and a half ago. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> All right, it's a start. Horrible, horrible. Yeah. Why horrible. is it bad, Tiny? Well, it's it's forcing an issue mm -hmm. that is not meant to be forced unless it's with someone else. I see. In, hmm. You know, in, in marriage, and I hate to press anything that doesn't belong. I see. Uh, but I do feel horrible. You know, I felt uh, after Afterwards. that. Afterwards. Yeah, uh, terrible, uh -huh. terrible. Hmm. Uh, so, um, so you don't do this? Uh, uh, do my best not to. Uh, not in a well, year and it's and a half been a year. Moon. At least two years. Uh, two years. Two years he hasn't been by himself. Uh, about a year and a half. A That's amazing half. willpower. I mean, it's amazing willpower on your part. I must I must commend you. I, I don't see the point, but uh, oh, if no, you no, tell no, me it's the no, same. I, I tell you, not only that, it, it keeps one more sensual. It does. For the time when it turned happens, me into a rapist uh, <laughs> quite frankly uh, that's how central you'd be huh? i'd be in the strip clubs with tiny every night i'd be going out of my mind oh if i might say uh, uh, mr chairman mr. robert uh, if i just may say one of the tile workers billy says if i can't say hello to yes. Miss joanna he's listening to the show okay he puts the tile in his building well tiny today is your lucky day not only are you going to say hello to miss joanna and billy the tile maker whoever the hell that is <laughs> tiny you got to be less involved with the small people all right trying to keep your career on track here Tiptoe Through the Tulips with Elvis Presley. Right. I saw Elvis Presley. Tiptoe Through the Tulips. That's right. Written by Mr. Hirsch and Mr. Florio. Two gentlemen. Two gentlemen you met where? At a strip uh, club? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Is that no, what you take uh, all your uh, What did you say? <laughs> he works at a uh, radio station. Right. And... Uh, but otherwise, it was a thrill to record this number, and uh, I'm very excited to hear it. Is it like the? Well, it, we'll listen to it in a minute, and um, we'll learn more about uh, Tiny's uh, life. 